Well, you know, I mean, here's a team that uh, seemed to be chasing the Holy Grail, which is Champions League. We all know what happened uh, to that with Real Madrid uh, and not that long ago. And of course, they are serial uh, champions. They're 15 points clear and they're playing like it. You know, that's what happens uh, uh, to a club, I suppose, that... Uh, only have, has to give an 100% effort a few times a year. And that's the problem in itself. It's a massive problem. Today's result was uh, absolutely embarrassing, right? Uh, they say, if you want to see art, uh, go to Louvre. But, uh, you know, some thought that maybe, maybe Messi and Mbappé and Neymar could rival that. Uh, I guess stick to Louvre uh, is the answer. But on a serious side, I mean, it really, really was embarrassing from the get-go, from the from the first moment. And we all know that Monaco are going through uh, incredible uh, problems themselves as well. And uh, as well, Dmitry Ribolovlev, uh, their owner, wants to sack Philippe Clement and and director of coaching, uh, 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 vice president Oleg Petrov, and and everybody basically. I don't know if this game saves them, but I do know that Paris Saint-Germain will have to go through some of the same issues and they ha have to make massive, massive decisions about what they do going forward, not just with the star players, but with Mauricio Pochettino and perhaps Leonardo as well. Let's start talking about Mauricio Pochettino and those major decisions you think PSG needs to make. Is this enough of a reason, this 3-0 against this Monaco that has had a, a terrible season uh, as it is? to really put their foot down and Leonardo start planning for a different coach next season? Well, yes, it's just another reason, but I don't know if it's going to be Leonardo because massive questions have to be asked of him as well, right? He's been trying to put uh, uh, this artificial project because that's really what it is, right? I mean, if you look at these players, Kylian Mbappe is going to be gone. We all know that. If he wasn't sure himself, you know, another reason, a game like that, right? Sometimes you, you know, I don't know Kylian Mbappe, but I have to think in his head, he knows he owes Paris Saint-Germain a lot, but he's given a lot back as well, right? So if there's that tiny reason of, you know, do I stay so much money to stay, you know, if I'm him, I, I go away, right? Um, uh, low Messi, I mean, the decline is absolutely unbelievable as we know it. Uh, Neymar is just lazy, simple as that, right? Every time we see him, uh, he doesn't play up to, uh, you know, the, the, the talent that he has. In terms of Pochettino, yeah, uh, see, the problem for Pochettino is twofold now because A, he's been, you know, it's a difficult situation. I think he was kind of, he forced himself to go there because he didn't have a job. There didn't seem to be anything on the horizon. And of course, he himself is a legend at Paris Saint Germain as a player. But like Thomas Tuchel, you don't go to a project where you can't play with your philosophy, right? Thomas Tuchel yeah. likes to high press, Pochettino likes to high press. How do you press with, with Messi and Neymar in particular as well? And now the big question is, where's Pochettino going to go? So much talk about Manchester United, but if he can't deal with, with this dressing room, the one in Manchester United at the moment is not all that easy as well. Are they looking at Pochettino? Are they looking at a result like this? Are they looking at this lack of attitude, passion from the team, right? Even if it's just to the supporters, never mind to themselves, are they saying, is Pochettino the man? So it's going to be interesting. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.